Hello and welcome to Ignite TV. My name is Anna and I'm going to be sharing with you about the relationship that God desires to have with every one of us. Do you have a desire in your heart to be truly known for who you are? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have a relationship that is full of unconditional love? Do you ever feel alone in this world, even if you're surrounded by people? Well, I want to tell you today that you are not alone. I want to tell you today that it is possible to experience unconditional love. I want to tell you that there is a God who knows you, who created you, and who designed you to have a relationship with Him. You see, God's original intention for us being on this earth was to walk with Him. But humankind slipped into disobedience. We're born into sin, and so we're separated from God, who is holy. But God is a loving Father, and He so desperately wants to restore that relationship with us. 2,000 years ago, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to walk this earth, fully man and fully God. He walked this earth in the flesh to die for our sin, to free us and restore us back to our heavenly father. Jesus Christ is the full representation of the father. He is love. He's compassionate and he is kind. See, God is not some idea. God is not distant or angry with us. God is love. And he cannot be obtained or reached through our works or any religious rituals that we might come up with. No, God can only be connected with through relationships. So he sent Jesus to restore that relationship. Jesus is fully acquainted with what it's like to be a human because he walked this earth fully God and fully as a human. So whether our life is a mess or we're striving to have that perfect life, he fully understands and knows every one of us and he desires to be a part of our everyday life. When Jesus died on the cross and rose again, he then sent his Holy Spirit to be with us because Holy Spirit can be everywhere. He can be with each and every one of us. And so with Holy Spirit in our lives, we experience the presence of God and he guides us. Holy Spirit gives us compassion. He can, Holy Spirit comforts us in our time of need. See, because of sin, Humankind wanted to hide from God. We think in our hearts that God is angry with us. Or we might think that if we acknowledge that God is real, it's going to change my life for the worse. But actually God wants to bring you life. He wants to free you from the heaviness of doing life on your own. God wants to communicate with you. And he's given us his word, the word of God, that is full of amazing promises and good things that God has in store for our lives. God also speaks through dreams and visions, and we can experience his presence. God designed relationship, and he does not want any one of us to walk alone. We weren't designed to struggle through this life alone. The Bible says that for the joy set before him, Jesus endured the cross. The joy is relationship with us. God is full of joy. He is loving and kind and it brings him great joy to be in relationship with his children. But God has also given us a choice. So he gave us free will because he wanted the relationship that we have with him to be authentic and real 
and full of love. So he gave us free will. So every one of us has a choice if we will accept him or not. I'd love to pray for anyone today that is feeling alone, that is walking through life feeling like no one truly knows or accepts them. Or I want to pray for that person that is, seems to have the perfect life and has everything in this life that this life has to offer, but you're still feeling empty. I want to pray for you today that you would encounter this God that I'm talking about, that you would encounter Jesus, that you would realize the truth of what I'm saying, that Jesus came to set you free, to forgive you from your sin and to restore you to your heavenly Father, to bring you into a true relationship, that you would know that you are a child of God. Father, I pray for every person listening right now. I ask that the scales will come off their eyes today, that they will encounter your love. Holy Spirit, would you move upon every heart that is just questioning right now, is this true? Is this real? I believe that hearts are stirring right now in response to the living God. And I want to pray today for any person that is struggling right now with burden or feeling alone, or maybe there's sickness in your body. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would be healed, that your body would be healed, that anxiety would go, that depression would go, that identity issues would be resolved today, that you would come to know that you were created for a purpose and that you are loved by God. I pray for anyone right now that is struggling, they feel like they have no purpose, they, they're questioning, why am I here? That I don't belong here or I have no plan. For anyone that's feeling hopeless, I just say to you today that you are here for a reason. Your heavenly Father loves you and is inviting you into a relationship with you today. So anyone that is wanting to accept Jesus Christ today, would, you can just pray this simple prayer. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe that you took my sin on the cross to restore me to my Heavenly Father. And I receive the free gift of eternal life today. I welcome you into my heart. I give you my life in exchange for yours. I believe that, that I die with you today and are raised to a new and living life that I have a plan and a purpose, that you would bring me into the kingdom of light today. And there is so much joy and celebration for you today if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior. Amen. If you've responded to the prayer to receive Jesus today, or you were impacted by this message, we welcome you to email us, hello at ignitetv.co.nz or you can message us through our Facebook page.